Hey you guys, I'm on for jewelry today. Um, I just thought I'd hop on and show you some more of my stuff. It's been a few days since I've been able to be on. Um, I had two days where I had a phone that would not stay charged. And um, then therefore I couldn't get on and use my phone for anything. Like anything. So I... Um, Finally figured it out that it was my power cord and not my phone. Hallelujah. Power cords are a lot less money than a phone. <laughs> and I'm kind of scared for the day that this phone no longer works. Because I love my iPhone 6S Plus. I do. I use a credit card reader when I do um, vendor events. And that credit card reader has to go in the headphone jack. The higher phone, the higher iPhones and stuff, the sevens, the eights, I've heard like they've gotten rid of the, I know I saw on the sevens, they've gotten rid of this, the jack. I'm wondering, they've said that it's a possibility that they're doing that with all of them, like all the newer ones. So it really scares me. I don't want to have to replace my iPhone. I like my iPhone. I'm an iPhone fanatic. Just laying that out there for everybody. And so my haters can hate all they want and they can just get over it. Um, because that's just how I roll. I like the iPhone and I don't know that I want to change. <laughs> so I'm getting out a few things here that um, I've got some keychains. I've got some jump drive charms. I've kind of changed them. They're originally supposed to be cell phone charms. Well, come to find out, cell phone charms are no longer really a thing. So, because those were all the old school phones and people have gone to not being able to use them. Okay, so that is an odd place for a bookmark. That bookmark has been hiding. So guess what? You guys get to see it. It is greens with a treble clef. So there we go. And QRS. Super wide on in the background. A Celtic knot. Jump drive charm. Because jump drives are being used more and more nowadays. And in school, um, kids are having to use them to turn in projects and stuff. So cell phone charms. Really inexpensive. Um, Eight bucks. Um, and I have them in different colors. So there's a pink. There's purple. There's another pink. There's a black. There's a copper. Um, here is just some straight beads on a head pin that I put on one. And um, they're blues and greens. And those are the round faceted ones. I have a few in the round faceted. I have this shape in the same blue and greens. Um, here is some bike home ones. Um, and here is a swan shape. This is um, beating or to look like a swan because it's not. There you go. Shape kind of like a swan. And so those are jump drive charms. Here is a dragonfly. Really simple. This one is only $5 because it's just the dragonfly. Um, also, here's some keychains. These are $8. And I'll tell you if I find ones other than that. Because, like, I think the dragonfly one, again, if it's just a dragonfly, it's 5 bucks because it's really simple but same thing here Celtic knot and that's in the color of copper there's in a pink pardon me while I sneeze <coughs> <coughs> ah, sorry folks here's the blue and greens some bicones round faceted here's pink and black and blue Rose and Fuchsia, and that's a different keychain link right there. I don't have too many of that one. 
Um, here's black Celtic knots. Here is a silver Celtic teardrop. Um, blue and green round faceted. Purple Celtic knot. Dragonfly. So this one's five dollars. Here's a swan. Blue green and they're a hexagon shape. Here is just a little tiny solar heart. Bent with the wire. Um, so there's that. Now here's my pendants. Um, I've got these ceramic stars and I have it in yellow with topaz bicones. I have pink with fuchsia bicones and you can see the price on the top up there. So that's $8 for those ones. I have a piggy. That one's 10 and it's with the right with the rose light rose bicone. See, I'm trying to. Um, I have a blue fish with the aqua bicone at the bottom. Here is a red striped fish with Siam bicone. I use a lot of bicones. I like them. Here's a red ladybug. Here is some football ones, Bronco colors. And so this one has orange on top, this one has blue on top, so it's not much different, but there you go. Um, gumdrops that you can't actually eat, but they look fun. Um, that's yellow with the topaz. Here is orange with a fire opal. These are great for Christmas. Um, I think you could wear them any time of the year if you wanted. Here's blue. And it's a, like a light blue and so it's with a light sapphire. Um, here is another ceramic star and it's with green and this is like it with a light apple green. Bicone. Here is purple with... Um, Maybe tanzanite bicones. Um, here, some more pink. Here's white with a crystal bicone. Um, here's a blue striped fish. A different blue striped fish with cobalt blue bicones. Um, here is a penguin. Just with black. Um, our lamp work ones um, are more expensive just because those are the beads. Here's a green ladybug with emerald bicones. Here's red with cyan, a red ladybug with cyan bicones. Um, here is a huge angel. She's all by herself. It's just a pendant. Um, with aquamarine. Here is a, I'll say that for the end, here is a brown light, a brown heart lamp work with gold. Here is light blue with aquamarine. Here's white ladybug with the white opal. I'll show you that where you can't see it. So there's the blue and there's the white and here's a red again. So I have more than one red. And here is some, I'm jumping the gun here. Christmas is not for a little while, but that's okay. So we'll each, I'll show you one of each. Here's a Rudolph pendant without beads on it. And here is a roof pen, Rudolph pendant with beads on it. Rudolph without is eight, Rudolph with is 10. Super cute. And then I have some of Grace 
Ma from Grace Lampwork Beads pendants. And here's a red with Siam and a great design on it. These are $14. Here's a blue with a turtle and that's with aquamarine. So those are fun things that I've made and those are all pendants. Um, I'm still trying to find a decent price on chains so I can have chains that somebody is like, oh, I like this, I like this pendant, but I can't find a chain for it. I can have them on hand. I'm still looking for decent price and de decent, um, like great quality, decent price. Um, and that's something I'm struggling with because um, I want to have good quality stuff for people versus like crap or cheap stuff. So that's why I don't have chains. Um, they're a little bit harder to come by. So, I just thought I'd hop on and show you a little bit of my jewelry. Um, and then I guess today was not a good time for people to hop on and chat. Um, but please share this video. And um, we will do a giveaway with some of my actual jewelry. Um, share the video. Let me know. Um, I will post my website with this. That's where you can place an order. I want to know if people ordering from my website works. Um, so nobody has done been able to show me that they've done that. They haven't asked. And um, so I want to know if it's working. Um, you can just get on my website and send me a contact form and say, Hey, I am sending you this because I wanted to let you know that your website's working. Or um, you can use the contact form on my website and say I noticed this wasn't working on your website or this looks a little bit off um, I appreciate and will take everybody's um, see words escaping my brain here people's um, advice on my website saying this looks a little off this looks a little funny this isn't working just I will take that and turn them into improvements so I can make it better for you guys and make it easier for you guys to um, order from me. I want my website and stuff to move smoothly. So please don't hesitate to um, send me that kind of information via the contact form on my Facebook page. One, that'll let me know that the contact form is working. Two, it'll let me know how my website is looking and people can find things, people can They'll be able to order from my website, whatever. I just need to know these things um, because without other people trying to do so, it I won't know. Um, so, and by doing the contact form um, and saying I noticed I clicked on this bus button and it won't let me add it to a growth to my cart, that'll be helpful because then I can just like fix things like those for the, like that for you guys. Um, I want to be able to make the website work. I've been paying for it. I finally launched it not too long ago. I want to make sure that everything is going to work for you guys and work smoothly. So please use the contact form on there. Please, if you're offering advice or solu like solutions or like suggestions, that's what I'm looking for. Suggestions, please use kind language. I will not respond kindly to being rude. Just telling you right now. If you're rude about something, I will not respond. So be please be kind in your uh, in your comments and your suggestions, and things can be fixed really easy. Hope everybody has a great Wednesday. Um, bye. PJ, lay down. <laughs>